This screencast is going to give an overview of how to write a good introduction. Now there are many ways of writing a good introduction. Uh, this is just my suggestions on how you can. If you've, been pre if, if you've been previously taught how to write an introduction and you're happy with that method, then go along with it. Uh, however, for academic writing, here are some of my tips on how to do that. Now throughout these, uh, this introduction, we're going to use the example of smoking causes cancer which is the same thing that we talked about in class and I've used on the other screencasts that you may or may not have seen. So an overview. Writing a solid introduction is very important for your whole essay. It sets the scene and it's a, a signpost to the reader as to exactly what it is you're going to write about. It must get the reader's attention, so you need to make it relevant to your reader. Now, in the case of smoking causing, causing cancer, it's already relevant to the reader. Uh, everybody will know someone who's been affected by cancer. Hopefully they've survived it or unfortunately maybe they died from it. So this topic is already uh, very relevant to people in their day-to-day -day lives. But in science, other topics may not be so relevant. So if you're writing about something like space, for example, you need maybe need some sort of hook which will uh, make the topic uh, uh, connect with them. Your introduction should also provide an overview of what you will write about in your essay. So for me, I would normally mention, uh, for example, if it's a cause and effect essay, I'd mention the causes and effects that the essay is going to be about. And finally, in some way, it should include the research question. Now, it's important to note that the research question is probably going to be on the front page of your assignment. So there's no need to write the question again. And as we're, get, as we're going to discover in a moment, in academic writing, it's not good to ask questions, so we're unlikely to use the research question as it was presented to us in class uh, directly in your introduction. So some general tips. Firstly, I would avoid asking rhetorical questions. Now, in presentations, you may ask a question like, did you know that one in five cancer cases in the UK is due to smoking? So you may ask this question. You're not really expecting the audience to ask it. Uh, answer it. You may say, isn't it amazing how people still smoke even though the health risks are obvious? Now, we're not going to ask those types of questions in academic writing. In a presentation, yes, it will grab people, it will grab people attention. But in academic writing, we're going to phrase it something like this. Approximately 20% of all cancer cases in the UK are due to smoking. We're going to phrase it as a statement. It still holds the same power. It will still grab the reader's attention but this is what we should do in academic writing. So if you think you want to ask uh, a question in your introduction, write the question first, but then think, how can I rephrase this as a statement and then rewrite it as a statement like we've done here? Secondly, try to make your essay relevant, uh, relevant to real life. As we talked about already, that my example of uh, cancer is already relevant as most people will know someone who have, or have been affected by it. However, if your topic was like space, you may want to use uh, a recent news story, for example, which might be a hook. So you might say, in the news recently, it was reported that uh, experiments done on the moon show that blah, blah, blah. So if there is a link in a news story that you've read recently, it's a really good way of making it relevant to today. And that's something which quite often people will do to try to uh, make their make their example relevant to real life. Another thing, another good thing to do is to write your introduction after you've researched and written your body paragraphs. Now, in academic writing, in our introduction, we would usually tell the reader what we're going to write about. It sounds repetitive, but in academic writing, in the introduction, we tell them what we're going to say. Then in the body paragraphs, our topic sentences clearly tell the reader what that paragraph will be about and then we write about that topic. Then in your conclusion you're summarising the main points that you've made. So overall we're kind of telling the reader three times what we're going to say, what we say and then what we've already said. Although this is repetitive it's very standard in academic writing and we do this to reinforce the point that we are making. Once we have planned and we've written our body paragraphs, the introduction will become much easier. So I would often write my introduction at the end of my essay. 
it's good to mention a topic that we're going to explore in more detail. And for my example of, uh, of, can of smoking causing cancer, what I've done in my example introduction that we're going to see later is I've mentioned the different types of cancer which are caused by uh, uh, which are caused by different uh, different things and different causes. Finally, your introduction and the final sentence should be a thesis statement, which will be di directly linked to the research question. And this statement tells the reader exactly what it is we're going to talk about. So the first example is using expressions such as the purpose of this essay is to. Then after that, we'll use the verb of what we're going to do, and then we rephrase our question as a statement. By doing this, we're telling the reader exactly what we're going to do, and we've slightly changed the research question, but it's still clear exactly what we're going to write about. We could also say this essay will, and in the same way, we use the base form of the verb afterwards, and then we've changed the question slightly to a statement, which tells the reader what we're going to write about. And then finally, we might move the verb to the end of to the end of the sentence. So the extent to which smoking causes cancer will be examined in this essay. In all these three examples, we've made it ex extremely clear to the reader exactly what we're going to do in the essay. And this statement is vital. This statement then is what everything else in your essay should be about. And if anything in your body paragraphs is not about your main topic, then you need to you need to leave that thing out of your essay. So these sentences should clearly tell the reader what you're going to write about, and the final sent and they should be the final sentence of your introduction. So a basic outline for an introduction for me would look something like this: I'd have background information about the topic, uh, something that's interesting about the topic, which will grab your reader's attention, and then we're going to talk about the importance of the topic nowadays. Outline what you're going to write about, and then a thesis statement, which will include the research question. So, my example paragraph will be here. And if you look at the blue statement here, every year in the UK, approximately 162,000 people die of cancer every year. And I've quoted The Guardian as, and I've used the in-text citation because this is where I found the information out. I didn't know this before. I didn't do this research. Somebody else did. So I must tell the reader exactly where I got it from. Then I said, it's a disease that many people are worried about and it's deadly in a lot of cases. So I've tried to make it relevant to the people who are reading my essay, and I've tried to show the importance. The smoking is thought to be one of the main causes of cancer, and many governments around the world now force cigarette companies to display warning messages on their products. So in green here, I've tried to make it relevant to today. I've talked about now that governments are asking people to put warning messages on their products, which they didn't do before. In some countries, they've been doing it for a long time. In other countries, perhaps, it's something which is a little bit newer. Then, in black, I put, There are many types of cancer, such as breast, lung, and skin cancer, and they can be caused by smoking, drinking too much alcohol, or excess exposure to the sun. Now here, these are the different types of cancer which I will talk about in my essay, and each of the three paragraphs I write, one of them will be about smoking, one of them will be about alcohol and the other will be about ex excess exposure to the sun. If we look back at my question, to what extent does smoking cause cancer? One of them I'll talk about smoking, but then I'm going to compare it to other causes, and eventually in my conclusion, I'm going to make a judgment. And then in red, you can see the final statement, which is using my thesis statement, which is using the purpose of this essay, is to determine, to determine the extent to which smoking causes cancer, and whether there are other causes which are more significant. So I've made it very, very clear to my readers exactly what it is I'm going to write about. So I think this structure of having a four-part structure will be really helpful for you to write a clear introduction, which is linked to your research question and tells the reader exactly what it is you're going to write about. As I said, you don't have to try to do it. You don't have to do it this way, but I think this may be a good way for you to write a solid introduction which, the read, uh, which tells the reader exactly what it is you're going to write about.